homeboy. I'm going to build the biggest fucking building in this fucking town. The biggest. My name will go down in history. Yeah, I don't doubt that, man. What'd you want? Well, I heard from a friend that we can get some real hardware. A bit like the chopper, but better, partner. Better. Yeah, I don't think I can handle any more of that shit, partner. Mm. I'm talking something seriously intense. How about a mother fucking news tank? Give it up, bro. Come on. Come on. Hey, what you need a news tank for, man? What are you, crime fighting now? I want it. Come on, baby, you and me, doing our tank thing? Just rolling like some desert storm niggas, huh? Ooh, uh, Chinese person! Bye-bye, nigga! <laughs> you fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, man. Money, is it money? Is that money you want? Here, here, have it. But come on. Welcome! Welcome, Papa! Uh, this is my business associate, uh, and, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Luis. Mr. Uh, Mr. Luis. Allah, he is the greatest uh, technical advisor in the whole city. And uh, this is his wife, Jaundice. <clears throat> Careful, motherfucker! Uh, yes, and uh, you know, we were Yo. just having a little right. creative meeting and things went a bit crazy, and uh, I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> but you know, Papa, I tell you, you are looking. You're looking very well, in fact. I knew how disgraceful you were. But I didn't realize quite how shameful you were. No, oh, Papa. <laughs> Things are not how they look. <laughs> Things do not look good, son. Don't judge a book by its cover, Father. That's what you taught me. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers, and no pants, I think I don't need to read it. Well, Papa, you know, these people, they mean nothing to me. In fact, they're just going, go, get out. You, Mr. Lewis, take your wife, Mrs. Lewis. And may I say, madame, this is not a very uh, appropriate way for a married woman to dress. I told them many times, Father, this is a disrespectful way to dress. Do they listen to me? No, no, no never. And you, by the way, I'll text you uh, in about one minute about the tank, okay? The new tank? Shh! Go and leave right now. Don't you dare come back without knocking first. These people are a disgrace, Papa. But I tell you, moving swiftly on, you will be very proud of my plans. I want to show you for the Imperial Amir Towers. I tell you, Papa, magisterial doesn't do justice to it. Yusuf? Luis, I think I can give old Papa that slip. Meet me in Star Junction. Really, bro? I'm coming, Dada. Just hold on. See you soon, my friend. Please make a U-turn where safe. In 400 yards. The turn. Make a U-turn where safe. Calculating route. Please proceed to highlighted route. Please make a U-turn where safe.
group. You fly, man! I'm getting cramped! They're airlifting the tank across town! Let's intercept the bitch! Where's your father, then? Nana's meeting some bankers in the exchange. Luckily for us, this stuff is too serious for Yusuf to be invited. He thinks I'm waiting for him in the lobby. They're parents, man. Ha, tell me about it. They think they can run your life. I'm old and ugly enough to take care of myself. Ugly? Yeah. Old? Sure. But taking care of yourself, bit? I don't know about that, bro. Ah, maybe you're right. I don't have the means. If only he gave me a few billion I could really call my own, then maybe I would grow up. I feel the same way, bro. What is that holding the tank? I must have one. It's an air crane, bro. Do me a favor, will you? Just fucking buy one, okay? No stealing. For you, Luis, perhaps.
Yusuf, bro, where you at, man? Over here, man! Where? Up here, motherfucker! <laughs> Shit! Stand back while I pick this thing up! Okay, man. Thanks for everything, bro! You're a fucking diamond! Don't mention it.
Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Take us over the bridge into the heliport. Calculating the route. So, I got a proposition for you, Louie. It's Luis, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. They can me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No! My jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch! No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace? Or a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp? Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay, so what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city. Only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that? out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost a nothing in my old life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing. And then all your contractual obligations are released. Hey, here's to that. I don't like your chances, big man. You have all been provided! Parachutes, boats, and cars! You will be airlifted to the start where you will race from one vehicle to the next. The first person to make it to the finish in Middle Park is the winner. Are you ready? Fuck yeah! Hey, I'm racing an orange midget. Why wouldn't I be ready? Three, two, one, go!
Phillips, man. That's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think Tony's cash means shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. Hey, Tom, what's happening, boss? You've been hanging out with people behind my back? I've been trying to make us some money. Yeah. You have anything to do with a little boating accident that went down, and it's all over the news? Me? I don't even like swimming. Good, because the people on that boat were good people. Freedom fighters trying to stop people smuggling in Asia. Really? I heard there was shit. I, I heard... No, I'm shitting with you. They were armed smugglers, hitched to some of the worst governments in West Africa. But I had you. I fucking had you, you fucking idiot, Luis. Don't turn into a freedom fighter. We don't have the luxury of that right now. And stop going solo on me. Not now. I wasn't involved, eh? Of course not. But if I had been, it would have been for us. For the business. Sure. You be careful, Luis. Thirty-two! <laughs> Thirty-three! Thirty... Oh, come on! Ah! Come on, one more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Morty! Why you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Morty! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing! Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars, I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Ah. Hey, Maury, I gotta side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs, I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, oh geez, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? Yeah, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. Okay! Oh, I love okay. you. I love you. I do. I love you. It's just the truth is I'm... I'm jealous. I am. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you... are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever! I'm only kidding! Come on! J Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent-up queens, I swear. Come on! Let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on, stop sulking. Jesus, you're pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on! Hey, we're picking these cars up on the north side of Middle Park. Take these headsets so I can be in your ear all the way, bitches. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Morning, bro, are you fucking with me? Come on, little B. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along, too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> Yo, two men and a little cunt. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down the positive energy, Lopez. You and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this more often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Oh, yeah? What's that? Well, you see, it's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this bill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. Fuck off, boy. 
I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. Hey, call me an asshole, but I'd be really psyched if my bro was back in a four-inch bunch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. <laughs> Anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury! I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about this. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? Ha, <laughs> said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit! You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? Hey, leave him alone, Maury. You're even more annoying than usual. He's a bit like you and Big Tone, actually. Hey, you guys should start a Debtors Anonymous circle jerk together. <laughs> yeah, you can sit around crying and hugging and talking about how you lost it all, huh? <laughs> yeah, at least we don't owe you shit anymore, Maury. Remember, that that guy erased in that bet. Fucking genius. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Huh? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks, and idiots walk. Hurry up with a ride, Luis. Push that thing. There you go, bro.
in touch. Bitches, we're moving! Shit, bro! Why are the cops all over us? Yeah, man. How they know what's up? Wake up, pansies! I called them! Shit just got intense, huh? Are you Alpha or Omega? You think you can handle it? Fucking hate you, bro. You tiny orange turd. Did you see little Lou here, though? He started shitting his panties when the cop showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared? You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou, sure, 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 you could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on! Think apprentice. Think uh, intern. Minion, yeah. Think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs. No more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free! <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey? Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. Oh, the man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 God, oh, yeah, what the fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, you know the rules. Oh, I'm sorry, Maury, I uh, forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on, this is, this is top work up here. You know that I got a week and stuff, though. Okay, oh, just, just, just don't tell Mom, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, 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 just, you gotta take me home. Yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit, come on, let's go, okay, okay, come on, yeah, 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 okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh, uh I'll see you at the club or something, okay? No! 